we are trying to make the best use of all this scientific uh, you know uh, information technologies development to put it into scientific part so that you can have the best use of it so how we are trying to do different workshops you know this is after many years in national conference in calcutta the dermacon 17 we are having four workshops one workshop will be dedicated to dermatosurgery or laser in laser this will be mostly both the dermatosurgery and laser it will be demonstrated it is basically a visual skill people uh, need to look at it how it is done so this will be demonstrated on the screen <coughs> and along with the dermatosurgery and laser dermatopathology this is another very important aspect which is coming up that is another uh, you know workshop the third workshop is on very uh, useful thing what we are doing now photography dermatologic photography that is a separate segment altogether dermatologic photography then dermoscopy looking at the skin through some instrument we can make out many diagnoses we can make many diagnoses without doing an invasive procedure like skin biopsy current days the kind of practice what we are doing is it justified without you know support of research knowledge that is all about evidence based dermatology we are talking about two subjects one is evidence based dermatology one is experience based dermatology see over last you know number of decades one or two decades the two terms which have come to medical science and has revolutionized the medical practice one is quality of life index now the treatment is not only for cure because we know that we cannot cure many disease when there is no cure you have to endure this we know for last four decades but how to endure it in the best possible way is guided by the quality of life index this is one term and second thing is this evidence based dermatology so these two things in presence of evidence in presence of experience combining this together giving the best possible quality of life to a ailing patient who has been suffering from a chronic disease for which there is no cure no you know uh, you know rosy picture for him in spite of that something has to be given to him that is our goal for the first time in 45 years history of dermacon we will be having our cme program continuing medical education program in two parallel halls so far we used to have in one single hall this is for the first time <coughs> with the uh, you know permission of our uh, iadvl ec we are having it in two halls just to accommodate more number of speakers more number of topics and more number of delegates into it and we will have a dedicated one hall discussing only on the aspects in dermatology usually we give just one to one and half hours to other conferences to these subjects what are those subjects one is leprosy one is venereal disease and one is hiv right so these are the diseases which are of utmost importance one particular hall is dedicated to presentations for our youngsters postgraduate students and young dermatologists because we want that our future generation grows well right why the future generation because they are the future pillars of indian dermatology so we are accommodating you know for the first time huge number of free papers award paper presentations and presentations by our younger colleague and this will be done in a single hall fifth hall or hall e throughout the two and half days of the conference this has not been done earlier in this conference huge number of in fact all the sessions there will be half an hour 15 minutes two lectures followed by half an hour interactions with the moderator and panelist so that the delegates can also participate because i personally believe that during any session the people who are sitting on the dais definitely they are very knowledgeable esteemed they are the experts in their field but there are many experts who are sitting below also so they should also be given chance to discuss about that topic so every session will be interactive more than 50 percent of the total time for the entire conferences will be spent on audience question answer this has not been done so far in any conferences
this is for the first time in any national conference we will have some dedicated sessions in accordance with the distribution of the halls that means this has been done with our uh, you know colleagues our uh, you know, in the scientific committee people are working very hard all our colleagues they had a very brainstorming session just to you know kind of do the kind of things are done to match the rubik cubes it's very difficult right so in in a particular day in a particular uh, throughout the mo from morning till evening if somebody is interested in psoriasis he will need to stay in one particular hall maybe hall a or hall b there will be sessions related to psoriasis from morning till evening the theoretical knowledge whatever we acquire that should not be remaining only in the book not only be in the purpose of research or for the purpose of teaching entire entire target of medical practice entire thing of medical practice is ultimately for the benefit of the ailing patients so that we should not uh, you know forget we should not be too theoretical at times the implementation of our knowledge and perception and expertise and acumen in to the, our patients is our ultimate goal because if our patients are benefited from our knowledge any number of conferences any number of academic discussions are most welcome but if our patients do not get any advantage out of our theoretical discussion kind of thing chit chatting this is of absolutely no use i believe